Hi everyone, I'm Inspector Marcus Kennedy here from Portsmouth um, Central. That's the area that covers Charles Dickens, Fratton, Baffins and Nelson. Uh, you may recall we did a video, a um, Facebook Live event a couple of months ago talking about e-scooters because I know it's a really contentious subject. It's the marmite of all subjects in the city. And this is just a quick update before Christmas. Okay, so we know how popular e-scooters are in the city. That's the rental ones um, with Voy. And obviously we still see those um, private e-scooters in the city. Now, private e-scooters are still illegal to be used on public roads. Uh, they can be used on private land. This is just an update and lead up to Christmas in case anyone's thinking about purchasing an e-scooter. Okay, so we still know that e-scooters are classed as a motor vehicle. So they fall under the Road Traffic Act. So they have to have tax and routine insurance. So the rental ones have that. But we also know that it's impossible to tax and routine insure a private one. So that's the way the law is at the moment. It may change one day, but that's what it is at the moment. So you cannot use a private e-scooter on roads on, on public land. Okay, so... Um, the rental scooters with VOI, when you put those out, there's an app comes up and it tells you what you can and can't do. And the galleries around that, so that guidance is nice and clear there for you. So how are we policing e-scooters in the city? So we haven't changed our stance. We still want to engage, educate and then enforce. So if you are on a private e-scooter, maybe going through Guildhall or near Commercial Road or on a road and you're stopped by a police officer or police PCSO, what they do is they educate you first about the law, which everyone I think is quite clear about now. Um, you'll get a warning letter and your details will be recorded, uh, explaining that, yes, you are in breach of the legislation around tax and material insurance for that e-scooter. What we won't do is seize on the first occasion, as long as you're not doing anything that's predominantly illegal beyond that. So, if you're then stopped again a second time, then your details would have been recorded, and yes, in theory, we could seize your e-scooter, which is what everybody really wants to avoid because they're very expensive. Uh, and that would be because you don't have tax and material insurance and it would be seized and in theory you could be reported for summons and in theory go to court and we have done that in the past um so that's where we are and that's where we don't really want you to be if you are if you've got a private e-scooter so with regards to rental scooters it's still the same law you only can ride one person at a time drink and drug legislation is still the same we have prosecuted people in the city who have had excess alcohol in their system whilst driving an e-scooter it's the same principles as driving a car uh, and also with regards to the higher um, e-scooters, you do need to be 18 and have a driving license. Okay, so the final message I'll put out to you is, if you're considering purchasing an e-scooter for somebody at Christmas, that's fine, that's your prerogative, no problem at all. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna police that sort of thing. What I'm saying is just be considerate around, if you don't have private land for the e-scooter to go on and you're buying it for somebody to use on the roads, then that is gonna be illegal and you could be leaving them open to prosecution and that is going to be seized, which we want to avoid. Now I know um, an online retailer who's also on the high street, who sells bikes and e-scooters, has a warning letter that comes up that says, not to be used on public road, cycle pathways and pavements, only on private, which is fantastic, but some high, um, high profile retailers don't give those warnings. It's just a bit of guidance to you at all, in case you weren't aware, please be considerate when buying e-scooters at Christmas, okay? Um, that's all for me. So have a great Christmas. Stay safe and look after yourselves. Thank you.